course. Hey Star Wars collectors and action figure fans, welcome back to another Star Wars video. Uh, got a Black Series figure. Got the, I want to keep calling it a clone, but it's Elite Squad Trooper from Bad Batch. Just picked this one up yesterday. Uh, really excited to check out this figure and review this one. I have another one on the way, so Army Builders got to have a couple. Um, yeah, really looking forward to this one. A little bit of a write up on the back there. After the formation of the Galactic Empire, a small group of highly skilled enlisted recruits is tasked with neutralizing anti imperial insurgents throughout the galaxy as a means to prove effectiveness of conscripted soldiers. So, yeah, they look like the uh, having sort of dark black armor, sort of gray black armor, and green visor, sort of like a, maybe a precursor to the Death Trooper. But, uh, yeah, cool either way. And this is. Uh, Looks like it'd be the first Phase 2 clone helmet in this sort of new new sculpt, even though the bottom half of this clone trooper is the old clone trooper sculpt. So we'll take a look in closer detail when I've cracked it open. All right, here he is. This is a fantastic figure. I really, really like the look of this one. Um, nice sort of, just a solid, same um, paint all over the whole figure. Um, which is fine, you know. We've had lots. Of, we've had some white clones. Um, hopefully, some more white clones coming out soon. I'd love to see some more um, phase two, just plain white clones. Uh, it's it's one that they could probably put out quite consistently and still still sell a lot of them. So uh, hopefully, that is something that is uh, in the future. Um, now this uses uh, top half uses the sort of the new clone mold. Um, and I did say in the intro that I think this is the first time they've used Phase 2, but I, am, of course, forgot the uh, Camino and then the 332nd uh, clones, which we have already seen. Um, but yeah, they've decided to go with using the legs uh, of the old clones, so I'm not sure what the idea was there. Um, as you can see, it's got the uh, double pin joints in the knees. Uh, for some reason, they've uh, decided to mix it up a little bit but um it's fine you know it's not a big problem now these are meant to be uh enlisted troopers so they're not clones anymore but they're just sporting this sort of dark clone trooper phase two armor i like the green visor i think that's really cool these guys could be a precursor to the death trooper based on that In there, so or like a sort of a uh, like a um, enlisted elite trooper. But yeah, the posing's really nice on it. Lots of uh, dynamic range with all the with all the joints. I uh, got the sort of soft soft shoulder bell there. So it's not hindering those shoulder articulation. I love being able to get this guy in, uh, you know, pose holding. Holding the blasters in different ways. There we go. It does only come with the one blaster. Which is okay, because by now most of us have got spares, so I've switched it out for this one. I think he looks cooler with a bigger rifle. That's just me. So I will actually take that out while I'm here. To pop in the uh, the bigger rifle. See how it looks cool. I love the I love the longer DC fifteen something or other. I can't remember. It's all blank on the top of my head. Off the top of my head at the moment. But yeah, I love the love the look of this guy. I've got another one on the way, so I'm glad I could get two. Um, try my best to sort of get a get duplicates of each clone it's always cool to have a leader to sort of um and have a couple of troops to flank flank a leader but yeah i really like the green silver on the sort of teeth and those bits down there but yeah no sort of extra detail sort of on the communicator or anything like that no extra details on the belt, so it's a little bit plain. Um, it'd be cool to see just, you know, maybe some different variants of shading, but uh, 
it's fine. You know, it's a this is one of those sort of cheap repacks. Um, you know, a cheap way to put out a new character, so to speak. Um, and yeah, Hasbro tend to do that every wave. But it's fine. It gives us new characters like uh, Hunter and Asajj and Crosshair and uh, bo -Katan. So I'm looking forward to getting those in the coming days. Except Crosshair. I still haven't tracked down a Crosshair yet. So I will, I will do so. I have sources. <laughs> I will find a Crosshair. And he will be reviewed here very soon. But yeah, I'd love to hear what you think about this one. It's a pretty cool figure, I like it a lot. They seem to have fixed the helmet issue that seemed to have occurred with some of the earlier um, 332nd and Camino troops where they were just, this plastic was a little bit soft and it was a little bit wonky. Um, seems like this is a nice sort of solid helmet. So yeah, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do. And thank you very much for tuning in. Till my next video, may the force be with you, always. We're a little rushed, so if you'll just get on board, we'll get out of here.